That's okay. And also we can cut out bits. That's okay. In the middle, like we can cut yeah. out All right, bits. I'll keep it short. Let's just go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Uh, thanks for the question. I think it looks even more disruptive. We can see how uncertain things are right now with the economy, with inflation rising, scarcity of labour, fuel hikes, you can't get petrol in your car, the supply chain's a bit compromised globally, uh, retailers are str struggling to get hold of stock. So you just have to be prepared to be much more agile and adapt to something which you can't really control. I think certainly the stay-at-home economy is going to be here to stay. There's going to be a mix, I think, between working in the office, commuting into London and other major cities, but also people have got used to being at home. So the at-home economy, I think, will be a lasting feature. Well, we're trying it. We're, we're, we're seeing what happens with bringing people back in two days a week. Uh, but I think most importantly, we're doing employee survey, surveys to see how people feel about it. So early days, we've been doing it for about six weeks. But so far, that mix seems to work for us. I wish I knew. That's a great question. What we've done to prepare ourselves for it, given the supply chain issues, is we've invested very heavily in a lot of stock. So we have a big stockpile to sell. So we'll be going out very heavily and promoting it to customers for Black Friday and Christmas. Meeting people again, it's been so great to get together in one location, interact in a normal way, fantastic. <laughs>